previously on Space Command. I will miss you most of all. Where are we? A distance from Mars, I'm afraid. You said that once before. Yes, that's right. We are in a different system now. Far from home. A new home, and a better one. Hmm. Do you think you can sit up? Very good. I'd like to see myself. Of course. Do you know who you are? I had a beard. Perhaps. And I seem to remember a son and that is from a different life. But he must be all alone. There's nothing you can do about that now. I have been thinking about loneliness. When I was on Earth, then Ceres, the mines, Mars, and now here, with all my followers. You can be alone in a crowd, especially when you once had a friend. The thing to remember is that you are not alone, and now, Neither am I. I have these dreams where my wife dies. Again. And again. And I wake up. Just a dream. Then I remember. It's 20 years my wife's been gone. And it's my son who needs me. Steady as she goes. Maybe you can clarify something for me. Are we here to negotiate a labor dispute or prevent a war? Well, 
a bit of both <sighs> so since they passed the Earth Exclusionary yeah. Act. Earth workers not being able to return home, it's not right. It is not right. Odin Sikander's Outer System Labor Force got a raw deal. We're here to clean it up. When was the last time you spoke to him, Sikander? Uh, at his father's funeral, when he was a little boy. Which reminds me... Hey there, weapons officer. Dad, uh, personal calls are against regulations. Just making sure that you're happy. Told you I'd never stand in the way of you going after whatever position you wanted. Yeah, well, you got me assigned on a diplomatic mission. It's not exactly challenging serving as the Corps. Actually, what we're dealing with... Captain, you have a call from the Secretary General. Thank you. Be right back. <laughs> Lieutenant Neff. I'm picking up your feed. Sorry, ma'am. Junior knows the regs. You might be in trouble. Yeah. <sighs> what? I don't know. I just always kind of hoped that he would go into negotiations. <laughs> what? Not dangerous enough for a comer. Yeah. No, just, he's always had that gift. You know, I mean, breaking up fights when he was a little kid, making both sides laugh. Do you remember when Delaney, Charlie's little fireball, sir? <laughs> oh. Yes, Madam Secretary. Jack, I've been, um, you're not going to give away the candy store, are you? Oh, no, no, just some liquor sticks and those hard candies that no one likes. <laughs> Jack? Only here to mediate a fair deal. Because the hardliners and multiplanetary corporations are going to... Understood. Fair is why I picked you. Please, don't make me regret it. Yes, ma'am. Best efforts. But as we both know, the... You, you did? You, you put this man in charge? The man who stole our synthetics? They were enslaved. Enslaved? Humans you can enslave, not electronics! Well, just because I think that enslaving synthetics or colonists is I, morally... I don't give a wooden credit about those damn colonists. It's about who they chose to lead them. Odin? Sekanda? A hot-headed miners boy who fails to grasp negotiations? Needs a representative, not an armada! I think you'd best remember who's in charge here. Sekana is no hero. He's a strutting, bargain basement bully boy. And you are not to placate him! Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to fan the flames. Hey, no problem. Just go for it. Lady's got your back. She does. Oh, here they come. Prompt. Well, at least they're not trying to be insulting. Ooh. Mr. Sikander, or is it Captain? For you, Odin. It's been a long time. Way too. That's all on me. But I know we're here for something far more important than my personal transgressions. A lot of inexcusable missteps have been made from folks on my side of the equation. But if you allow, I'd like to begin by clearing the air with no 
What the hell? Status. Minimal damage, sir. Pursue, but warning shots only. We may simply be confronting panic, so for now, just slow the man down before it spreads. Odin choosing to start a shooting war with 12 past chips and colonists. Would he do that? I don't know what he's doing. Captain, it looks like they're making a run for Jupiter. You got that? Maybe hoping to lose us in the radiation and magnetosphere. Clever boy. No response? No, sir. We're being blocked. Ah, feels like more than panic. He's up for something. See if you can punch through on comms. It's Try to patch into the other ships. I'm on it. Yeah, if Sikander's trying to write us as villains in a narrative, well, let's prove otherwise. Ship to ship. Pull ahead, crisscross. Slow them down. Best weapon now is time to communicate. Sending. Let's not crisscross into one another's coordinates. She's fast. Jupiter's coming up. How you doing? 90 seconds and I'll be able to... My God. Who are they? Is that the same ship we encountered 20 years ago? Evasion! Uh, didn't do that before. Keep us out of range of those claws. Ready, weapon station. Hi, ma'am. Can we outrun them? Those ships? Yeah. No. Our escape pods might. Ah, we're not there yet. Ed, fire shot across their bow. You got it. <laughs> Same everything. Captain. All ships, fire! Fire again. Throw everything you've got at the lead ship. Maybe together we can break through their force field. <clears throat> Power levels dropping. We're losing atmosphere. We're losing power. I can boost it. Do it now. They're tearing us apart.
Captain Chilton, status. Boudicca is dead in space. Spartacus's crew is... I know. Signal all crews, abandon ship. Escape pods, maximum burn in system. But we'll provide you some cover. Everybody out of the pool, now! You heard the man. Let's go. Evacuate. The lady. Now. Everybody get out now! Quick, 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 quick! We ain't got much time! <laughs> Captain, get us between them and our ships. Full array, fire everything. Now! Weapons are out. And our people? They've made it to the escape pods. That means you too, Jorge. What will you be doing? Gonna overload the fusion cord and jettison it right at them. Might buy us some time if they decide to target the pods. With all due respect, Captain, I'm right where I need to be. <sighs> Stubborn. Your wife is gonna kill me. And we better make sure we're not that late, huh? Right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Horrifying, yes, but a body count can work to our advantage. Get a camera on the grieving, show these damn cowards this is real. And unless we... Yes? Oh, Molly, everyone's jumpy. You know what to do. Thanks, Megan. Hey, sweetheart. You okay? Is that a drawing you made? The teacher said to draw the prettiest place we could imagine. I did a forest with a baby deer. Mine wasn't very good, so I traded. Traded? That new girl. The one from the colonies who's parents died. Hers was beautiful, only she wanted mine because where she's from, there are no deer. Or even trees. Let's only pretend. And the tunnels she never saw. I love it, but did I do a bad thing? Because trade should be fair. Sweetheart, those stones are very, very expensive. My company, there's these nice people who give us money to help us mine. So I have to spend as little as possible to give them their money back. And fingers crossed, make a profit. Those people are like my partners. So, what are the people who do the work? Especially since, you know, sometimes the tunnels.
petals fall. <clears throat> Sources confirmed that the success of the attack was due primarily to surprise. Enemy firepower proves to be minimal. Also on the plus side. Prior to this unprovoked attack, these off-world miners, whose labor requires no great physical or intellectual effort, were making economy-destroying demands, which Fleet Commander Kammer, clearly unaware or indifferent to the struggle of our own working people here on Earth, <laughs> appeared ready to grant. But their own knowledge of the absurdity of their cause Grandpa? Are you all right? Yeah. No worries. Just sometimes you admire someone and, and you think they are a certain way and then they are another way altogether. Sweetheart, don't watch that. They say there's gonna be trouble. Don't worry, we're gonna get rid of those things. No, but... Grandpa, can you see? Look, they're families. Let's not talk about this today, okay, Haley? And what special present would you like, Haley? But Christmas is still a long way off. Well then, it must be something very special indeed that you need right now. I, maybe, but I also don't believe in you anymore. I know. Only, I can still listen, if you need me to. Santa, I don't suppose you could make it that there'd be no war? No, sweetheart. Not alone. But I'll try. If you tell everyone, everyone, everyone you know, to try as well. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. 
She told me she was supposed to meet you here. Oh my God, she'd never lie. Sweetheart. Hey. 